In this video, we will cover three popular functions used in Microsoft Excel. VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and XLOOKUP. Here you'll know when and how to use each function. Let us first go through VLOOKUP, which stands for Vertical Lookup, and is used to search for a specific value in the leftmost column of a table and retrieve data from another column in that same row. This is designed to work with data that is organized into columns. That's why it's called vertical lookup. This is the syntax for the VLOOKUP function. Let us use this table to define and illustrate each argument of the formula. Say you want to extract the quantity sold of the major products listed here. Type VLOOKUP. Before you finish typing, VLOOKUP shows up and you can just press tab and it tells you to input the first argument. Lookup value, which is the value you want to look up in the table. In this case, product 1016. You can type 1016 here or you can just refer to this cell where the product code is indicated. This is better because you can later on copy the formula to the other cells below without the need to change this part. Put comma and it tells you to input the table array, which is the table or range of cells containing the data you want to search through. This is where the product will be searched and the value that you want to return or extract are located. Make sure that you cover both columns in the table. In our example, this column is where lookup value 1016 is located. So we definitely need to include this. And the value that we want to extract is in this column. So we also need to include this. We also want to get the selling price later. So let us include this column as well so that we can use the same formula reference. The range must be continuous, so even if you don't need these columns in the middle, you have to include them in the table array because they are located in between the needed columns. You have important note to observe here for your VLOOKUP formula to work. VLOOKUP can only search for data in the leftmost column of the table array. It can only retrieve data from columns to the right of the column that contains the lookup value. This is why our column for product code is in the leftmost part of the range. If the value you want to search for is located at the right side column, you need to rearrange your data. You can't have the codes here and the values to extract at the left. And before we proceed to the next argument, let us make this range absolute or fixed by hitting F4 so that we can bring the same formula to the other cells below. If you want to learn about when and how to fix the cell reference, I have a video made specifically about absolute and relative cell references. Moving on, we need to put comma and the next argument is column index number. This is the column number of the table or range that contains the value you want to return. This is the number from here to here. One, two, three, four. So the quantity sold that we want to return is in the fourth column starting from the leftmost. And let us put four here. Put comma again. And the last one is range lookup, which is optional. You just either leave it blank or set to true or false. Set to true or just leave it blank for an approximate match or set to false if you want an exact match. For me, I want the exact match every time so I always use false in this argument. Now we have completed the formula. It means that Excel will find 1016 in this column and returns the value from the fourth column corresponding to that row. Then press enter. Let's check 1016 is here and the same row shows quantity sold of 3,720. So we got the correct value. 
How about the price? We can go through the same process or just copy this formula to this cell. But first, let's make the column reference here fixed so that it will not be changed if copied to another column. And we need to change the column index number. Instead of 4, it should now be 5 because the price info is in the fifth column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Check the output. The price of 1016 is 30.54. So it's correct. You have the needed values for product 1016. Now you can bring the formula down for the other product codes. VLOOKUP is such a useful function. However, you need to take note of its limitations. First, VLOOKUP can only search for data in the leftmost column of the table. You can't look up a value on the right side and return a value from the left side. If the value you want to search for is not at the left side, you need to rearrange your data. Second, VLOOKUP can only find the first match. If there are multiple matches, VLOOKUP will only return the first one. Let us move to the second function, HLOOKUP which stands for Horizontal Lookup, and works in the same way as VLOOKUP. The only difference is that VLOOKUP works with data organized vertically and has column headers, while HLOOKUP works if the data is arranged horizontally and has row headers. HLOOKUP is used to search for a specific value in the top row of a table and retrieve data from another row in that same column. It is used when the data you want to retrieve is arranged horizontally like this. It is less likely to organize data like this, but it's possible. With this arrangement, VLOOKUP won't apply, so you need the help of HLOOKUP. This is the syntax for the HLOOKUP function. It's the same with VLOOKUP except for the index number. Instead of column index number, HLOOKUP needs row index number. It searches for a specific value in the first row of a table or range and then returns a corresponding value in the same column based on the row number that you specify. With this data, let us extract the unit cost and ending balance of selected products. Equal sign to begin, then type HLOOKUP and hit tab. Just like VLOOKUP, you are required to first enter the lookup value, which is again the value you want to search for, which is 1016 in cell B15. Then select the table array or the range of cells containing the data you want to search through and the value you want to retrieve. The range should begin from the row where the lookup value can be found down to the row where the values that you want to extract are located. This includes the rows for the product code, unit cost, and ending balance. Like the VLOOKUP rule, it should only be one continuous range so the rows in the middle should be included even if you don't need them in the formula. And the row with the lookup value must be at the top of the range. And then make the range fixed by hitting F4. Then proceed to the next argument, row index number, or the row number of the value you want to return starting from the top row. In this case, we indicate 3 since the cost is in the third row from the top. Next, the range lookup, which is again optional. Set to true or leave it blank for an approximate match or set to false for an exact match. Let us indicate false. And enter. We got 27.49, which is the cost for product 1016. 
To return the ending balance, we can copy the formula here and make changes. Or we can again type hlookup and tab, then refer to the lookup value. Next, the table array and make it absolute. Then the row index number, which is 5, the row number where the ending balance figure can be extracted. Finally, false. And we have 138, which is the value right here under 1016. Then copy the formula down to the other product codes. Take note again of the limitations mentioned earlier for VLOOKUP. HLOOKUP has similar limitations. We've covered VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP individually. But know that you can use both functions within formulas. So for example, in this tab, we want to display the markup or the difference between the selling price and the cost of the same products. We can use a combination of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Let us first extract the price with VLOOKUP and tab input the lookup value the table array or the range then the column index number which is 5 range lookup which is false then close parenthesis then minus sign since we will deduct the cost from the selling price to get the markup and let us extract the cost with HLOOKUP. Type HLOOKUP and press tab. Input the lookup value which is also this. The table array starting from the row where the product codes are down to the row with costs. Then the row index number which is 3 then again false. Close parenthesis and hit enter. We got 3.05 markup. We can check if that is correct by computing the selling price here less the cost that we've previously extracted. And the result is the same. Now let's move to the XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP is a new and improved lookup function which can be used to search for a specific value in a table or range and then return a corresponding value based on a variety of search criteria. It can perform the function of VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. However, this is not available in the earlier Excel versions. You can only use XLOOKUP if you are with Excel or Office 365 and later versions. This is the syntax for the XLOOKUP function. I mentioned that it can replace both the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. So let us use XLOOKUP to extract the selling price from the vertically organized data and cost from the horizontally arranged data. Type XLOOKUP and press tab, it shows that the first to input is still the lookup value or the value you want to search for, followed by the lookup array, the array or range of cells that contains the value you want to search through. Make the range absolute, then the return array or the array or range of cells that contains the value you want to return. With XLOOKUP, the lookup array is now separate from the return array. This makes the XLOOKUP function more flexible than VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, as it allows you to search for values in any column or row of a table, regardless of how the table is organized.
Again, make this absolute by hitting F4. The next arguments are optional. So we can leave them blank for now and use the default setup for these arguments. Hit enter and the selling price for product 1016 is displayed. Now let us use XLOOKUP instead of HLOOKUP to extract the cost from a horizontally arranged data. Type XLOOKUP tab, then input the lookup value, which is product 1016. Lookup array, this row where product 1016 can be found, make the range absolute. Then the return array, this range containing the value you want to return or the product cost and make this absolute by hitting F4. Again, let us leave the next optional arguments blank. Hit enter and you have the cost info. XLOOKUP is a more versatile lookup function introduced in Excel 365. It can search for data in any direction and in any column or row of the table. It can also perform approximate and exact matches and is useful for more complex data analysis. That's it for now. Stand by as my next video will be focused on XLOOKUP. It will be a more extensive explanation about XLOOKUP where you will learn about various matching operations and advantages of this function.